Yeah, Carter Hart had a little bit to do with that. Um, yeah, it, it. You could. We we just got caught there. We we're in the middle of a shift. We couldn't get guys off. That's what that second period is. You don't want to get caught in those situations. We did, uh, and Carter gives us a chance to bail out of it. Yeah, we're just we're just going. We're just playing, and uh, um, you know, I, I thought we well. Second period, I think it was 12 to 11 in chances. It was basically trading chances with them. First period, the hard one for me was just giving up something in the last minute. I don't think we played that well, and then we give up another odd man rush. Uh, but then we found ourselves. We played and uh, had some really good goaltending. They did too. Uh, like after that mess, with the four or five minutes in our end, Beezer has a great chance, and he makes a great save. Um, so, yeah, it was a game that you get kind of caught up in watching. Obviously, you know, they've still got the Crosbys and Malkins and Carlsons over there, but depth-wise, sort of top to bottom, do you feel like your team matched up pretty well? Well, our, our, our team, like I said the other night, we, 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 we don't get into uh, – we just worry about ourselves. We're going to play. Uh, I think we play hard pretty consistently. And if you play hard and – and you have a again. I'll, I'll say it again. I know it's it, if you have the room that we have right now, uh, the togetherness. I, I think you find a way to compete in this league. We get really good goaltending tonight. We uh, score a goal, score a time goal, great face-off play at the end. Uh, you know, we're blocking shots. We're doing all those things that we have to do. Uh, so we're just going to continue doing that and and see where it all goes. We're, we could play really good games and lose some games too, but I just don't think we get too up and down. We're just kind of static as far as how we feel about it. Sure, Tyson is the uh, happiest out of everyone for this, but as a coach, how satisfying is it to see him getting back to his goal scoring ways after all the hard work, work he had put in on the other things when he was struggling? Yeah, it, it to, to me, it, it kind of fast forwards him as far as what what it is to be a pro and, and the things you have to do as a National Hockey Leaguer. Uh, it, it's great seeing him score the goals, but it's been so impressive as far as the other stuff. And uh, that that's caught us off guard as a coaching staff. We didn't realize how equipped he was. A lot of people question his skating. I haven't seen it for a second, his skating affect any any part of being a National Hockey Leaguer. And, and this is why we kept him in there. So it's uh, uh, he stuck with it. I think there was time. There was a time where he was getting frustrated, and I think he was showing it. Uh, stopped him, you know. He, we, he just couldn't go down that road as far as the frustration. He just continued to play, and I think he's reaping some of the rewards of just his consistency as far as his mind. You start to, as a coach, obviously, you said last year when he was up that you had to pull yourself back to try not to get ahead of yourself, but. Do you start to get excited where, you know, if the details hold and then the scoring comes, just how good of a player he could be? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's, uh, again, I don't want to talk too much about it because I don't want to jinx it, but it, he's played so consistently away from a puck and strengthen the puck and stick on puck. All the things other than that big shot of his and his goal scoring, it's been so consistent, it, it's encouraging. And uh, that you don't... He doesn't have to go through the pitfalls of failing at it because he has been our most consistent guy at it uh, on the team up to this point. And I, I think he gets rewarded because he stayed with that part of it. It was a couple of games he started dipping. He was looking up in the sky and did some funny things with his stick when he didn't score. And 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 we just need to get rid of that. And he just stuck with it. And, uh, and I hope it continues to help him. Is that how you help him get better? By reminding him of all the other things that he does well to keep him from heading down that? That path that you're still doing all the time. Yeah, yeah. We, we, when when we're showing tape, it, it shows up. It, it's there. So uh, just like anybody else, it's it's not always correcting. It's showing some some things that you're doing well. And when you have a young man that uh, that came up last year and scored some goals, and then really struggled scoring, you know, through the, through the first quarter here, you, you you lean on that stuff, and you and you get he gets to hang his hat on something as far as that he is helping the team. So I think deep down, that's all he wanted to do was help the team. And so I'm happy for him. Uh, he scores a big goal again, and, and hopefully he'll he'll get into a little bit of a run here. He was locked in, especially in the second period. Who? Carter Hart. Yes. Yeah. Just how timely were his saves? Yeah. It, 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 
that that when we couldn't get out of the end zone there for a few minutes, he made probably six or seven great saves. There was a stretch three in a row. Uh, so yeah, it, it uh, uh, it's helped us here. You know, uh, coming back, our goaltending's been good. Urs has been good. Carter's been good. So it's given us an opportunity to stay in the game. And uh, uh, you know, Hartsey's been doing that all year long. He's been pretty consistent since the year started here. And now Urs is beginning to come. So hopefully we can get uh, both going at the same time. They basically said that Sanheim recognized it off the draw, shouted that, shouted to, to Coots that, hey, if you know if, if you win the draw, I'm going to send TK yeah. or that other way. These are your vets. Yeah. You know, obviously, the young players, you're trying to develop them. These are the guys that will make those reads. Is that what you want from your vets more than anything? Yeah, well, it, it, and it's 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 so because I don't know I don't know if they had a huddle about it or whatever they did, but uh, yeah, that that's it's kind of their responsibility, right? And. Uh, it, it goes down. Someone asked me a question this morning about Mark Stahl and Risto as veteran guys. Can you lean on them? When you're in those type of situations, you, your veteran guys need to lead the way. And uh, I, I thought, you know, TK would, I thought TK, uh, he had some problems as far as re reloading tonight. He gave up some odd man rushes in the first period there. But the thing about him, he, he, he just finds a way to make an impact on the game, right? You got to live through some of his mistakes. Uh, and to have the communication as you're talking about, because I haven't even talked to him yet, those guys, to, to hear that, that is really good. And it, it, and the young guys need to see that and understand that. And uh, I'm happy for them, but re you know what? It's their responsibility. And uh, it's good that they got rewarded tonight in the winning goal. Yeah, I don't know about a rivalry. I, 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 well, I guess it is. It's the same state and all that. And uh, uh, at least my tenure here, I think you need to get in the playoffs and 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 play a series against them, and then it starts becoming a rivalry. I'm sure you guys did uh, past years. Um, it, I don't even look at it that way. I look at we we've we've gotten five out of six points in the last three games, and we've been down in the games, right? And so it's it's just such a good base to fall back on. Uh, as far as staying within yourself, and we had some uh, a number of minutes up and down as far as our game tonight. We weren't we weren't good in the number of minutes of the game, but it didn't we didn't get flustered. So I think that's the key that you take out of getting a win uh, against a really good team that uh, could have you know could have scored two or three goals on us and put the game away.